Hello, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello, Internet. It's Big Dave here, and this is Cat Lateral Damage from Chris Chung. Yes, I can barely say the name without snickering. This game started its life as a seven-day FPS game jam game, was later kickstarted successfully, and is now a real, actual game that you can buy on Steam. So there's not a lot to this game. It's going to be pretty simple to show off. It's a game where you play as a cat. But I will say hats off to them for not calling it Cat Simulator 2015, because Thing Simulator Year is really played out at this point, even as a comedy uh, act. You know, Surgeon Simulator, you kind of got the pass. You were kind of the last one in the door as a funny something simulator game. And I am really glad that this is not Cat Simulator 2015, though it is an extremely accurate cat simulator. I just wanted to show you something right off the bat, just because I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, there's an FOV slider in this game. It is a first-person game, so that does make perfect sense. There are key bindings, and there's not a whole lot in the way of videos, uh, video settings. <laughs> That's the first time I noticed that. That's the first time I noticed that it was called Perfect. Dare I? Oh, me okay. Possum. You, you win. Cat lateral damage. You win. You, you did it. You, you win. You win video games. All right. So, not a lot in the way of uh, granularity in the video department, but it is a simple game with a very specific art style. So it doesn't really need it. It would probably run on a smart toaster at this point. So. Let's just jump in and let's see what cat lateral damage is all about. Uh, so you do unlock cats as you go. Uh, let's see. I, I like a, I like a yellow janders. Yeah, I had an old uh, yellow tabby cat once upon a time, and uh, it wasn't a very good cat, but you know he was okay. He was he was an adequate cat, and this appears to be an adequate facsimile of my adequate cat. So let's get down to business. I'm sick and tired of this place. Time to make a mess. Perfect. Cat. Logic. What reason does a cat need to make a mess? No reason. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm confused. I'm lonely. I'm just tired of this place. Yeah, make a mess. And that's what you do by swinging your gorgeous little cat paws. And uh, sometimes you poke. Sometimes you poke things. I love the poking arm as it comes out. It's great. You can poke with either arm. That's just that tension to detail right there. Uh, so there actually is a game to this game. You have a timer in the upper left-hand corner, as well as a number of things that you need to knock over. Below that, you can also see that for, uh, I think those are folded towels, the little yellowish-white equals six. You'll get actually credit for six objects for every towel that you can knock to the floor. And there are 33, I'm going to say bookends. Those look like ramps, but there are 33 of those in the low. We have bookends, you can see in there. Uh, and you get a little bonus, I believe, if you can actually knock over all 33 of those. We should really get to work, though, because we've got to knock over 390 things in this room. So uh, let's just start. There you go. Take that. And uh, you can, you can kind of crouch down, do a little cat slide under the bed. Nice. There are power-ups. You get power-ups by finding these sparkly things and beating them to death. Then for some reason, a box spawns in, and inside that box is a power-up. The power-up, oh, an event. This is actually a great time to talk about events. In this particular event, a power-up has appeared, and I have 25, 24, 23, 22 to find it. Let's find it. Navigate the house here. Game does a great job of giving you that sense of, of being at that cat perspective, that cat level. Really, really great. Okay, so sometimes you'll get some pretty cool stuff in here. Got ourselves a power-up. Our SWAT is maxed, meaning that we can really SWAT all day long. Let's go uh, Let's go mess with this toilet paper here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's knock it off the roll. There you go. There you go. Now, this is just a temporary power-up, so it is going to... Oh, bird. That bird increases our jump. Sure. Uh, this power-up is going to fade shortly. But while we've got it, let's swat like mad. We can turn the sink on, because, you know, that's a crazy cat thing to do. Okay, so we've run out of that power-up, and we are back to normal cat swing. That's all right. I can deal with normal cat swing. 
So let's see, let's uh, let's make a mess. Uh, one thing you can do here, there are collectibles, there are unlockables. Uh, you see a picture of uh, someone with their cat on the wall? Well, you don't want that, that's not you. Pictures of other cats on your wall, I think not. There you go, get a little photo you can later go and check out in the gallery. There you go. So lots of things to unlock, lots of things to do. The game, I think, does have a limited replayability, but uh, for 10 bucks and for the time that you're going to put into it, I think it's well worth the money. I mean, just the just the laugh of your initial playthrough really makes the game worth it. It's competently made, like you see, FOV slider in a, in a cat simulator game. It's there. Some decent, decent attention to detail in this game, and uh, I really, really have enjoyed my, let's say, hour and a half that I spent with this game prior to recording. Had a really, really great time. So we're making pretty, pretty good progress here. We've we've found a few of the, uh, a few of the bookends. Uh, is this the thing that's going to get me six points? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, racket it up there. So the, the folded towels or whatever that is. That's a good one. That's a good one. See if we can find any more of those. Let's open up this fridge. There we go. All kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, this game has been decent YouTube fodder. Several prominent YouTubers playing it, making some uh, crazy sounds and voices. Oh, we got moon gravity. Uh, as they've played it, you know, squealing and yelling and doing all that stuff that they do that the kids like. Uh, it, it, it's a good game for that. It's a good game to just let loose, just forget about your serious demeanor and uh, just be a freaking cat who's knocking crap off shelves. It is, it, it's, it's one of those games, you know, I'm going to maybe put three hours into this game and I'm probably not going to come back to it ever again. You know, they might do an expansion. I might come back to check that out, but I'm going to enjoy that time. I'm going to enjoy every second of that three or four hours that I put into this game. They give you just enough replayability through procedural generation. Yes, this is uh, this is actually bordering on a roguelike here, uh, on the current incarnation of roguelikes or roguelike-like or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is run-based in that each time you get uh, different procedurally generated uh, rooms, you get uh, power-ups through these upgrades. So, you know, it's almost like, I, I feel like I'm looking at b the Binding of Isaac pause menu here with my uh, with my SWAT and my, SWAT and my jump uh, and my speed skills there. And uh, every time coming into a slightly different area, there are secret areas. Uh, once I jumped into a crate at the end of a level and ended up in a supermarket, and that was pretty cool. I had to run around and try to fulfill a shopping list in the supermarket. Now, let's get ourselves some power-ups here knock over cool stuff that sparkles and get boxes and we get power-ups what do we got upgrade speed so we're getting a little faster uh you are becoming uh, you know you're becoming the alpha cat as you go through here you are grabbing motor speed upgrade i think the color yeah so it's color coded green is a speed upgrade oh somebody's got an atari oh not anymore not any I, I see the controllers where's the system uh uh, that doesn't look like uh, close enough. It's probably some, you know, copyright issues to be concerned about there, but uh, those were definitely game consoles. Oh, I like your television. <laughs> All right, that was that was good. That was nice. A little bit of a toy here. You try to placate us with toys, but it just doesn't work because we'd much rather smash all of your valuable, valuable stuff. Uh, so you can see I kind of been lollygagging here, kind of been just uh, cutting up and uh, not really taking the goal too seriously. And I'm still, I'm still going to make it. I have about three minutes left. I think I can do it. We'll run through this little job here, this little cat tunnel again, trying to placate us with toys. But all we really want to do is break things. So let's uh, find another room here. We've been here, you can see, as evidenced by what the ground looks like, what the uh, floor looks like. I think we may have seen every room in this house, so uh, let's just spend some time wrecking. We have not made it through all of the... No. We haven't made it through all the book, uh, the bookends yet. Oh, here we go. Got some up here. There we go. All right, let's smash this stuff down. Get to the end of this level here. You can uh, go in these closets. You can... I don't think you can... Uh, Left a couple of bookends up here. I don't think you can open drawers. Not really sure, though. I have tried. Ah, more bookends. 
More bookends. Come to me, come to me. I want the bonus. Whatever the bonus might be. See another cat picture up here. Let's get rid of that. All right, we're almost there. Five more bookends. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> the poke. The poke is just priceless. A bit of an awkward kind of slide jumping I'm trying to do there, but it's not really working out. You can see what this game is. This game is making no bones about what it is on its Steam page. It is a game that is here to give you... Uh, it's to give you some entertainment, to make you laugh, to make you chuckle, as I have definitely done whilst playing this game. It is not going to redefine your idea of what video games are all about. It's just going to be fun and make you smile. And that's uh, sometimes just what you need out of video games. You need a game that doesn't take itself seriously, especially when you're a self-important person like me who does take himself just a little bit too seriously. So let's jump in this box because cats love boxes. And let's go to the next level. Get a quick recap here of everything that we smashed. We uh, missed by three on the bookends. Missed by three. And that is a first time smashed item there. Always like to see those. And you've even got some stats here. Just everything in this game is just well done. The polish that's on this game is... is this, I don't want this to sound the wrong way, but a game like this doesn't deserve to be this well made. Um, I'm glad that it is, and I respect what Chris has done here, taking a, you know, a, a little experiment, a little bit of fun, a, a lark that he went on in the seven day FPS and turning it into a fully fleshed out game. And, and I, I have a lot of respect for uh, anybody who follows through on a vision like that, but especially someone who does it with such obvious care and quality you know there are definitely some other people credited on this game but he seems to be the primary developer who did the vast majority uh, of the work and uh, again that is just earning you even more respect someone's playing beer pong here in this log cabin i i guess you know a cat gets in a box and you never know where you're going to end up when you get in when you fall asleep in a box right I'm sure there are a couple of disney movies that are made on that pre uh, premise Let's see, anything else to smash here? Anything else really to say about the game? Because I could just sit here smashing stuff as a cat all day long. That's not really what you want to see. Let's see what this last event is, and then I think we're going to call it a power-up has appeared. Kind of lame, kind of boring, but uh, I like power-ups, so let's get some power-ups. As I said, I have been to... Oh, shield. This is a nice one. I enjoy the shield. Oh, but there's not enough stuff. So the shield just kind of wrecks stuff completely a little force field around you I'm looking for just a room that is chocked full of stuff oh you're not chocking your rooms full of enough stuff for me yeah I love the force field if you get the force field at the right time in the right context some of the stuff you can do with it is just insane cat venom Ooh, new photo unlocked well, there goes our force field, and uh, I think that's really that's really pretty much all we need to say about this game. It's charming, it's lovely, it's it's worth every bit of ten bucks. Uh, just think about it from the perspective of you know going to see uh, Mad Max or one of those great Hollywood movies. You're gonna get you know two three en hours of entertainment out of something like that. You're gonna get about the same out of this for roughly the same price. The game is on sale during its introductory week for nine dollars, but even at ten dollars, I really don't think you're going you're gonna go wrong with this game. Cat lateral damage from Chris Chunk. Sorry, got a little loud there. I'm so excited about this uh, cat photo. I'm about to knock over. Take that turbo. Cat lateral damage from Chris Chung. Get it on Steam. Check the description below for all the relevant information. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.